it's totally bizarre to me how like some days like you know I've got like the right mojo or whatever for teaching and then some days I'm like not quite as spot on but that's like anything right like some days you 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 just really nailing it and you you're in the zone and some days you're kind of like missing every pass <laughs> the basketball's hitting you in the head <laughs> Uh, there's also custom routers, and this one is uh, just keeps coming up everywhere, and you should know about it. So instead of uh, you know using uh, Mux, right, uh, you could use Julian Schmidt's router, and you could do things with Julian Schmidt's router, uh, and it has really good performance metrics, benchmarks. So it's like one of the top three, but then it has additional functionality. And Caleb uh, seemed, you know, he seemed uh, not, I don't know, endorse it's not the right word, or um, you know, but like it's definitely something that he's like, this should be in your awareness in his own words. Yeah, Julian Schmidt's router is good because it may not be number one in uh, a metric for speed or memory usage, but the ones that are number one for like memory is going to be really slow, whereas the one that's like number one in speed is going to use mass memory. So Julian Schmidt's in the top three for all uh, categories of, uh, that you measure stuff with, so it ends up being the best overall. And then you could do things like you could uh, put in like your, so instead of having to check your HTTP verb, right, and you could you do router get or router post. And then so when it's post and it's at this path, we're going to run this code, right? And so that's, that's kind of like one of the things that looks really nice to me about it uh, because then you don't have to check, is this get, is it post, you know, what's coming in on the request line. Uh, and uh, I'm just like like pausing on saying request line because... Uh, I'm like trying to picture this in my head and just make sure I'm saying the right one. Request line. I put it as my desktop background. What's the quick way on Mac to uh, um, make everything on your screen disappear? That didn't quite do it. Anybody know to like just get to your desktop instantly on your Mac? Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then you could also do variables. And so you could do like colon page, so anything here, and then, you know, whatever that variable is. So you could have things like, you know, users and then name, right? And so that, that would be, uh, you know, it access this part of the URL. You know, if this is Todd, if it's Daniel, if it's Shin, if it's Eunice, if it's Corey, whatever, right? It would uh, then be able to do stuff with that. Um, say something more about the variables. I know I didn't say it all fully. Make, makes it easier to make your RESTful API more explicitly as opposed to if, with the default serve mux, you've got to parse the URL yourself to figure out what the uh, what the RESTful uh, parts of the URL are, whereas with uh, Julian Schmitz, it's able to do that for you. So if this was like dogs instead of users, this could be Toby, and then we'd see the picture of Toby, and then it could be Fifi, and we'd see the picture of Fifi. Is that right? Yeah. I haven't used it yet. It's on my list. I need to understand everything else. And I, I, I have more to say about this, I'm sure, which is why all this is blank. It's like I need to add stuff there. So that's a little bit of Julian Schmidt's router.